Hey guys, it's Natasha and welcome back to my animal series, which I'm going to call Animal Amazement. Today's episode is all about the capuchin or capuchin monkey. These small black and white monkeys can be found in different forests all around Central and South America. They are legally and illegally sold as pets around the world. They're one of the smartest monkeys in the world. They are super intelligent and really easy to train, and they make great actors. They used to work with mechanical organ street performers in the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries, and today they can be found in movies and TV shows anywhere from George of the Jungle to Ace Ventura to Friends. They're also used in labs for their skills at using tools, although the ethics on that are often disputed. The capuchin monkey gets its name from the dark fur on the top of its head, which resembles the caps worn by friars of the Order of Friars of Minor Capuchin. Adult capuchin monkeys can be anywhere from 12 to 22 inches long and weigh 2 to 9 pounds. This one's obviously still a baby. Their tails are about as long as their bodies, and they use them to forage for food, help them carry things, and hang from trees. There are several species of capuchin monkeys, including the black capuchin, the black striped capuchin, the blonde capuchin, the golden bellied capuchin, the capori capuchin, the tufted capuchin, the wedge capped capuchin, the white faced capuchin, and the white fronted capuchin. This is a white-faced capuchin, and it's the kind that's like famous, you see them in all the movies on, on TV. In the wild, capuchin monkeys live in groups of 10 to 30 monkeys with one dominant male as their leader, and they spend most of their time in treetops looking for food and avoiding predators. They're very social and very territorial. Capuchins are omnivores. They eat seeds, nuts, fruits, eggs, insects, and leaves. The ones who live near water also eat crabs and oysters, and they use rocks as tools to crack them open. The capuchin's natural predators in the wild are large birds like eagles and hawks, large snakes like boa constrictors, and large cats like jaguars. Capuchin monkeys are diurnal, meaning that they are active and awake during the day, though they do often take naps. Their lifespan varies from about 15 to 45 years. They're super intelligent and have also been known to possess a sense of fairness. Some capuchins have actually been trained as service animals and can perform tasks for people such as opening bottles and even using the microwave. Some capuchin species are actually endangered due to habitat loss and hunting for the meat trade and the pet trade. While it is legal in some areas to own a capuchin monkey as a pet, it's actually not a very good idea. They require a lot of space and trees to surf, so keeping them in a house is not really ideal for them. Pet monkeys are also often taken from their mothers at a young age in order to form a strong bond between them and their humans, which actually ends up causing a lot of psychological problems for both the mother and the baby. Their immune systems aren't as strong as ours, so they can easily get sick and they can transmit harmful diseases to humans. Adult monkeys also can become very aggressive, and some say that bites are inevitable. They also just have very specific diets and routines and social structures in the wild and would be much happier there than they could ever be trapped in a house with people. However, if you do decide to adopt a capuchin monkey of your own, please first of all make sure that it's legal where you live, then be sure to get it from a respectable breeder and not from the wild and make sure that you can provide the monkey with enough physical and mental stimulation, a highly specialized diet, proper health care, and plenty of time outdoors. So that was my video on capuchin or capuchin monkeys. I kind of said it both ways throughout the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. Please like and subscribe if you did, and check back next week for another amazing animal. Thank you and goodbye. I already edited this video, but I went to the zoo today and found a black-capped capuchin, so I figured I'd insert that into this video.